Wednesday, May 23rd, 2.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to look at an article that came out yesterday from the Atlantic.com titled, Planet Nine, Show Thyself. Astronomers have found tantalizing new evidence that strengthens the case for a ninth planet beyond Neptune, but some doubt still exists. You know what we're talking about. There could be according to new evidence, and the evidence is getting stronger, of the possibility of a large planet out here beyond the orbit of Neptune that, um, I'll read to you here in just a minute what they say about it, but the evidence is starting to mount in its favor, and it goes as follows. Once again, this is from the Atlantic.com. In 2016, when astronomers made the case for a ninth planet orbiting far beyond Neptune that could explain a strange clustering of objects in the outer reaches of our solar system, they were hopeful it would be found in less than five years. The search is more than two years in now. Planet 9, thought to be ten times the mass of Earth, has yet to show itself. But the planet hunters have just found a new clue. Astronomers have discovered an object beyond Neptune with quite a different orbit compared to the rest of the solar system. According to a paper recently published, nearly all the inhabitants of our solar system orbit on the same plane. That would be the ecliptic plane. Giving it the appearance of a pancake. This new object, known by the license plate, 2015 BP 519 is highly tilted. That means it would be at an angle, a steep angle, semi-steep angle. Um, its orbit juts out 54 degrees above the plane of the solar system, which makes it quite remarkable. To figure how the object achieved this orbit, Juliet Becker, a doctoral student at the University of Michigan, and her colleagues ran simulations of the solar system backward and forward over millions and millions of years. Nothing seemed to work until they added the hypothetical ninth planet. As they ran the clock, planet 9 and its gravity swayed 2015 BP 519 into its tilted journey around the sun. People who want to think that planet 9 is real will definitely take this as evidence of planet 9, says Becker, the lead author of the new paper. People who are less sympathetic to the planet 9 hypothesis will probably, you know, it's only one object for now. One object never proves anything. When Mike Brown uh, of the California Institute of Technology and astronomers who proposed the ninth planet theory saw Becker's results, they were ecstatic. Um, back in says his theoretical work has shown that a uh, mystery planet could sway the motions of objects like 2015 BP 519 and push them into these highly tilted orbits. Every time I would do a calculation, I would get the known structure of the solar system right. I would also see the production of these high inclination objects that live beyond Neptune. He adds, I think it's becoming increasingly uncomfortable to have a solar system without a ninth planet. The discovery, of course, is not confirmation. For now, as before, astronomers can only infer the presence of the massive planet based on the movements of distant objects and countless computer simulations. The theory behind Planet 9 first emerged in 2014 when the astronomers Scott Shepard and Chad Trujillo sought to explain a mysterious clustering of six small objects in the Kuiper Belt. This is the Kuiper Belt, by the way. And what they found were six small objects clustered in the Kuiper Belt, a field of icy and rocky objects beyond the orbit of Neptune. The orbits of the objects all tilted in the same way, an arrangement that is nearly impossible to generate without the help of some external force. Shepard and Trujillo suggested a large planet was lurking in the shadows, warping the orbits of the objects that came near. 
Brown and Batyan decided uh, to take up the mystery. After months of work, the only answer they could come up with was the existence of a ninth planet, massive enough to sculpt the orbits of other smaller objects. Their announcement was met with a mix of support and, of course, skepticism. Some skeptics say Brown and Batkin's work was, and uh, Batkin's work depends on data that may be prone to observational bias. The human tendency to see say, the human tendency to see things that we expect or want to see. The strange clustering of the six objects beyond Neptune, the phenomenon that forms the basis of the astronomer's argument, may not be that strange at all. Perhaps the grouping appears to exist in the small ice, or perhaps the group, the grouping appears to exist in the small slice of the sky where telescopes were, were found it, but not when compared to the surrounding parts of space we can't see. When something might be out there whose discovery would generate instant massive fame and fortune, resources would be devoted to its detection. In these situations, there is a certain risk of subtle confirmation biases slipping in, says Gregory Laughlin, an astronomer at Yale who believes Becker's discovery fleshes out the case for Planet Nine. One tends to follow the tracks that might lead to success, especially when the stakes are so high. Take, for example, the 19th century cautionary tale that has remained on the minds of Brown and Batkin since the they started scouring the skies with telescopes, hoping to imagine Planet Nine or, or image Planet Nine directly. The French mathematician followed up his discovery of Neptune in 1846 by proposing the existence of Vulcan, a planet orbiting between the Sun and Mercury. He ended up being wrong about that. The discovery of more objects like 2015 BP519 would help, and Becker and her team uh, will be looking for more. Each new object would, theoretically, bring astronomers closer to pinpointing the location of Planet Nine. And they're aiming their telescopes to try to snap that picture. At the same time, future discoveries could actually weaken the Planet Nine hypothesis, says Anne Marie Madigan, an astrophysicist at the University of Colorado of Butler. Madigan says the discovery of 2015 BP519 and its weird orbit bolsters her theory for the clustering objects, and it has nothing to do with a hidden massive planet. The clustering could explain, or could be explained, by the interactions between the small objects, as many as 10 Earth masses worth, littering the outer solar system. Small bodies alone don't have much gravitational influence, but their collective movements can jostle the orbits of their neighbors. In a 2015 paper, Madigan predicted this mechanism would lead to the population of objects like 2015 BP519 off the plane of the solar system. The reason uh, I like the self-gravity, as I call it, of small bodies collectively doing this by themselves is that you don't need anything new, Madigan says. If we're saying, okay, Planet Nine did it, Planet Nine is responsible for why the outer solar system is behaving so oddly, then we have to say, okay, how did Planet Nine get there? That's a good question. Batgan, who is a friend of Madigan's, says his computer simulations are unable to simulate the self-gravity mechanism in the solar system as it is. And if they could, they would produce a picture of the Kuiper Belt that wouldn't line up with the existing observations. But could you still cook up the scenario where you don't need Planet Nine, he says? Brown and Batgan welcome the next piece of evidence, the next clue in their search, but they're raring to find Planet Nine once and for all. They've even sound a little impatient, as if Planet Nine, or if, or if the planet should have revealed itself months ago. Of course, the obvious next step is to just go out and find it. Even if Planet Nine never turns up, a search party at the edges of the solar system is a worthwhile endeavor, says Laughlin. The icy and rocky inhabitants of this region are the leftovers from the beginnings of our solar system. The closer we get to them, the richer our understanding of, our, of the way our home and the universe came to be.
Small objects out there provide a good way of understanding why our solar system is so much different than the average solar system in the galaxy. And that's the kind of real story, Laughlin says. We're weird for sure, he says, and the best clues as to why we're weird uh, are imprinted in the most primitive, primitive bodies in the solar system, the most distant, untouched fringes. So basically what they're saying is they're pretty certain that there is a Planet 9 out here responsible for the strange formation of some icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt. And they think it's the gravitational influence of a large planet about the ten t or about ten times ten times as big as Earth that has yet to be discovered that's out beyond the orbit of Neptune. So this is a well written article. It's from the Atlantic.com. Was written uh, or came out yesterday. I thought I would share this with you guys. Planet Nine, show thyself. So it'll be interesting to see how things unfold, and who knows, maybe they will discover uh, Planet Nine. That would be uh, a day that a lot of people have been waiting for. I'm certainly a believer in the binary star system. I do think that our sun has a companion. That companion would more than, more than likely have orbitals, just like our sun does, and it would be planets. So this could be a clue, or at least pointing in the right direction of a binary star with orbitals and the orbitals like I said would be planets so we'll have to wait and see looks like they uh, might be getting close to proving once and for all that that this planet in fact does exist we'll have to wait and see I'll keep you guys updated thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there